Hi guys, Nick60 here, coming to you with a first look comic review. This is for a relatively new comic, Flight of the Binturong. And I would have had this out a whole lot sooner, but I am afraid I was just sick recently, so hopefully we can get back on top of things pretty quickly. So what is Flight of the Binturong? Flight of the Binturong is a long form uh, sci-fi space adventure and well personally I think it looks really promising it's a uh, it's been very interesting so far and despite a once a week update it they've done a pretty good job of of uh, keeping things moving so let's just uh, dive right in where are we well we're following Mr. Tom Harris and Jacob Shaw, who, uh, in the ver very beginning of this comic, attempt to sell some brand new AI programming to the Navy. Here's the problem. When they put in for the contract, apparently the big name do everything uh, mega corporation uh, called NavCorp decided. That AI looks like it's pretty good. So they stole it, copyrighted it, marketed it as their own, and then got these two thrown in jail for stealing, quote, NavCorp property. We don't like these people at all. Three years later, main story of the comic takes place. Mr. Harris and Mr. Shaw have been joined by Sam Avery and Chen Salcida, I hope I pronounced that right, I apologize if I didn't, who now serve aboard the Binturong, which is an aging uh, repair ship. Now, the backstory is that these ships were once the mainstay of, well, fixing ships. That sounded better in my head. Basically, any time a starship would have problems, one of these repair ships would scurry out and fix everything. But this new AI that NavCorp has, uh, quote, NavCorp has presented allows for self-repairing starships, meaning that these old repair rigs are slowly but surely dying out. However, the Navy's latest and greatest starship, which uses this AI as best as I can tell, they ha or I guess anyone can tell, the Navy's been pretty guarded about it, went nuts and took off. And the reason for this seems to primarily be NavCorp doesn't actually know how to use this AI they stole. Karma. So the Navy and NavCorp show up to the Binturong uh, Char uh, chartering the crew to find and repair the ship. Now, their declared explanation is they're the nearest ship there. Seeing as how this lady was here and she knows what happened, I'd probably bet good money it has something to do with the fact that they know that these are the only two people who actually know what this AI is. I could be wrong, but that's my current bet. So, these guys are now chartered uh, to go uh, go and take care of this with the promise, and I really don't buy that they're actually going to follow through on this, that they will have steady contracts with NavCorp and the Navy as, uh, as, as, pro as reward for taking care of this. I highly doubt that they're going to follow through after the track record we've already seen, especially with the latest page which seems like the Navy themselves have portrayed NavCorp in some way. Yeah, things are getting interesting fast. Though, again, they technically started interesting. So, these guys are racing off to try to find the Navy's new ship. Apparently, some Corsairs slash space pirates have showed up for the same purpose. So now it's going to become a race slash fight slash who knows what to try to get their hands on the Navy's shiny new ship, which, in my personal opinion, could probably do to be trashed. That's just my personal opinion, but 
that's probably <laughs> that's probably not what it's supposed to look like. And I may have a little bit of a bias there. Anyways. So that's the general story of where we are. Like I said, there's not really much to say for spoilers because it's a fairly young comic. There, It's not like you'll spend a couple hours each day for a week or two catching up on it. Uh, which I personally think is unfortunate because I'd really like to know more about what's going on. But we'll get there. Anyways. So... That's the story. I obviously think it's interesting. I think there's a lot of potential there. I have a whole lot of other guesses on what could be going on and things, but I'm just going to keep quiet since that's not what I'm here to do. As for the comic itself, in terms of how it's put together, the style fits. It gives that grungy, used, future-type feel that on an aging starship you want. Uh, there's 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 no sleek shining white ooh everything's all techy living in an iPod type environment. The ship feels like it's been used, which in a ship that's supposed to have been used a lot, that's a good thing. The, there's obviously a huge disparity between the Binturong and the big fancy Navy ship, which I'm sure it probably actually has that sleek living in an iPod type feel, um, but since we're not in there, we don't know. So the essence of how trying to, f of feeling like you're on, I hate to say it, but a rust bucket is there, and that's a good thing. The writing itself is good. The dialogue doesn't feel stiff. It feels like. Uh, feels a lot like conversations that you'd probably, you know, between people. And, well, I'd, I'd argue if the NavCorp people are actually people, but again, <laughs> that's, that's just an, an opinion matter. So, yeah, the art, like I said, is good. The writing is good. The once-a-week pace is kept up with pretty good by not having any dead pages um you know every page has something important some act some relevant dialogue or actions going on uh which on a once a week comic can can cause problems if it doesn't but they've done a good job about taking care of that uh just looking through seeing if i missed anything real quick I'm not sure what else to cover uh, at the moment. Uh, just, like I said, just clicking through, checking to make sure if I missed anything. Nah, nah. Other than, other than, uh, no, there is no other than. Uh, I guess that's about all I. I guess that's about all I got at the moment. I d a uh, definite plus, a definite good comic to look at and to keep an eye on. And, yeah, link in the description, of course, uh, to go check it out yourself. And thanks for the suggestions on what uh, what to have a look at. Keep them coming. Good, uh, and good luck to the uh, Binturong crew. See you guys.